What's up, y'all? I'm uh, doing a little bit of foraging back here in the backyard. So, let's see what we got here. I just got a little cast iron coal set up with a shop vac. Sorry, I'm not good at that. <laughs> shop vac on uh, it's blowing air. So, This is my hammer I've been using. And I've just been hitting right here. Probably need to stop that though. But then I can take some uh, white plants. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So I guess I should tell y'all what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I don't know, I've just always wanted to do blacksmithing and uh, armor really interests me and whatnot. So I figured I'd start trying to uh, do some armor. Um, it would have been easier if I would have started with a smaller piece or whatever, but I just happened to have a shovel and, uh, and I saw this other video where a guy, he just put a shovel like right here and uh, like where the, the round part is this way and it was just real ugly and when he turns his chin it hits his, hits his uh, you know the corner hits his neck or chin or somewhere over here. So I don't know, I just figured I'd elaborate on it which brought me to this shovel that I've been working on. This is the product I've gotten so far. Still very extremely rough, as you can see. And I've left this on, but my plan with this is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this in a sort of this shape right here, and bring it up, and it'll be like a 
like a horn type thing and it'll also catch like if it were to be a real set of armor you know sword fighting or whatever uh which it won't be but if it were to be it would catch the blade so it wouldn't it wouldn't get at your neck you know um so uh you know i just tried to get a, a rough shape and when when this part isn't in the way anymore it's going to fit a lot better but as you can see it's not too not too shabby already i mean i'm thinking i'll have like one of those three tiered ones you know uh but uh yeah i like it you know i'll probably Oh yeah, I did notice that this, it restricts my motion over here, so I'm going to shorten this as well as kind of give it some more flair, you know. I figure if I shorten it to about here and then flare it up, uh, well, it'll probably be like right here. I don't know. I don't know, I'll probably just shorten it like an inch and then see how it feels and shorten it an inch and see how it feels this corner is kind of rough i need to i mean i need to give it a better rounding just all around you can see here that's just all sorts of bad but once you know now that i've gotten it in a good shape I can start to kind of fine-tune this this I just I didn't actually really spend much time on that at all on, on either side and what I figured out was I'd leave it in the fire like this uh, and uh, let it get red, red hot and the best thing that I found was I would just get two two pliers on both both ends here and I had a, uh, a dolly and the dolly like I stood like as if I was the item being dollied and then the handle curved out curved out right here I got those pliers and I just you know I put this groove the groove here into the bar on the dolly the handle and then just you know pulled this in and that really that really changed the game because hammering it would just wasn't not was not working so as you can see I've gotten a little bit of uh, like the it's kind of offset but I figure once I cut this into a point it'll be a lot easier to work with and uh, and I quenched it in water I don't know I I knew that I didn't know what I was talking about but I just seen a lot of people do it, you know, doing it on to swords and things. So I was like, yeah, that's probably what I should do. And I was running out of coal, so I was just, you know, boom. And then, uh, then I 